Hi. Hi, Chandra. Hi, How are Patrick. you? I am wonderful. How are you? Wonderful. So I'm going to give you guys some background information about what just happened because it's 321. <laughs> <laughs> we were having some technical difficulties, but that is okay because Facebook and Zoom wouldn't allow us to be great. But let me tell you something. Some about my girlfriend Chandra Brooks. Yeah. Chandra yeah. is a connector in every sense of the word because Chandra said, Listen, Zoom ain't working, try StreamYard. <laughs> so, thank you. This girl, I'll tell you, I, your new name is The Solutionist. Your name is no longer Chandra Brooks. Your name is The Solutionist, okay? Oh, you are right. powerhouse, I'll take it. you are The Solutionist, okay? I'll take it. Put that behind your name. Yeah. Okay. Real, real talk. <laughs> that should do this. That should, you, you have to figure out how to put that in, the, in, in your. Uh, in your in your mind your bio. sometimes you called the solutionist at sometimes times called, called the solutionist. solutionist yes that part right there <laughs> this chick is really the solutionist i love you chandra i love, I love you. you this is I my home girl yes. okay let me tell you we both grew up in san jose california yes, she still did. resides she's fortunate enough to still reside there because she has a lot of money <laughs> not necessarily me so i mean there's a whole difference i've been right. in California for a very long time. She's been blessed enough to own a, several properties. Like mm -hmm. she's this girl's out here killing it. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Um, she's a best-selling author. She's a TEDx speaker. I would just tell you this, Chandra, because you always do some, you do things light years ahead of me. She had me on her podcast like three years ago this month, and here I am, you know, starting to do something. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing it, and I, now I have her on here, and it's so cool because you're always ahead of me, Chandra. Uh, I, I think maybe in other in certain things, but I mean, I think you ahead of me in some other things too. Well, I'm glad to be your friend because you are a connector and you are a solutionist. So I'm glad to have you in my circle. And I only mess with top, top tier people. So I'm just glad that you are part of that. Um, she's an entrepreneur and she's the founder of the Powerhouse Academy and the Powerhouse Women. Um, she, a movement that turns women leaders with a message into influential women in their industry. She's been named the most influential, well, actually one of the most influential women um, leaders with a message, or excuse me, in Silicon Valley and Silicon Valley Business Journal. Okay. Silicon Valley, she is not to be played with. She's been um, a Latina with Vision Award. She's won that award from New York Life, a woman, woman of industry, year in advocacy from 100 black women. As you can see, she's Latina and she's black. <laughs> and what she's most proud of is being inducted into the East Side Union High School District Hall of Fame. Give it up for Miss Chandra. <laughs> Girl. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank Not only, but okay, so let me just tell you this, because the, the thing that I love about you most, Miss Brooks, is not only is that you get there, but that you bring other people along with you. And a lot of the stages, a lot of the platform that I've been on has been because of you. So thank you. You nominated me for the, the the Hall of Fame. Like that is a huge honor. And for me to be not only nominated by you, thank you, because you didn't have to do that, but for me to be inducted and them to feel that I was worthy enough to be inducted right alongside of you and a and huge uh, playmakers in the Silicon yeah. Valley, which is everything. Yeah. So you are the solutionist, you are the connector, and I'm glad that you are my friend. Oh, thank Most you, Constance. I I appreciate you, and I think that. Uh, we've said that before, right? Game recognized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each other all the time. You know, when we, when you see the great things that I've been trying to do, that I've been doing, um, you always say, "Girl, I love your stuff. I see your ads. I see your. I brand see you. Name. I see I'm you. inboxer. And this is before we became friends. We were like, right. I was like, girl, I see you. Get yeah. it, girl. Yeah. Do the damn yeah. thing, right? And I appreciate yeah. that because you don't get that a lot from people, especially yeah. women, right? It's hard. Right. Um, to get that, I see you, girl. It's not a competition. Yeah. It's not about you know what, who's doing what more, better, who got more money. It's really a support. You know, supporting each yeah. other and being there for each other. And I truly believe that. And that's exactly why I started the Powerhouse Academy. So talk about it. What is it that you do? What's the Powerhouse Academy? So the Powerhouse Academy started because I, you know, I worked in community. I've I've done a lot of work in the community in politics, and I was a commissioner on the Commission on the Status of Women and Girls. I was vice chair of that commission, um, part of the Women's March. So a lot of circles of groups and clubs and committees and boards, and it was just like catty, competitive, like always something, right? It was always something, and I I, I never felt like I could lead the way I wanted to lead. And I was like, instead of 
complaining about it, let me start my own movement. Let me start the way a thing that I want to do the way I want to do it, the way I feel it needs to be done. And so mm -hmm. how, okay, how can I turn this into a business? Right. I, I, w I wasn't going to start a nonprofit because you know, you start a nonprofit, you're not gonna make money right away. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, so how can I make this a uh, profitable? So I had to create something you know, with yeah. my talents, right? And my connections, how can I build women up as leaders using my gifts, right? Mm. And, and coaching in that way. So I created Powerhouse Academy, which is an eight week program to turn women with a passion or a mission into leaders, into women that have a movement, women have businesses or women that want to change the world. Mm. Why did you choose women? Why not men? I like women better. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because I've always been, you know, a woman uh, that has, you know, sat on the women on the uh, commission on status of women. You know, I've always had a passion to help other women. And I think it was because I was um, a teen mom. Right. And I seen the challenges I had as a teen mom and I knew the support I needed as a woman and the guidance that I needed as a, as a young woman, an ambitious woman. And I've always mentored. I've always been a mentor. So I think it just fell that way because I was a commissioner. I was um, helping with the Women's March. I I'm just a woman empowerment woman. A powerhouse. Yes. yes. And, yes. you know, Oprah said, if you can if you can change a woman or if you can change a girl, you can change a whole nation. And I'm so I think that's why it's so important. Yeah. Yeah. It's so important because I'm telling you, we share resources. Right. And, you know, we we it. it overflows if we are educated if we are developed it's going to help our family right it's going to help our community it's going to help our economy if we yeah. are educated and we're building businesses it's going to grow and it's going to help our men yeah right. like it's everything it's everybody circle. connected to us so that's right you know, we, we don't hoard things to ourselves we really share it that's what I love about you, though, Chandra. That's what I really love about you. And I can say it from the bottom of my heart is that is and you're not just helping the people that you're getting paid to help. You help yeah. more than that. You know, you help me, but you help so many more people than the people that are in your co cohort. And I think that's just that says a lot about you because it's not just about making money. It's about really making a difference in people's lives. And when you lead from your heart, yeah, you will be hungry. Right. And that's what you do. And you know what? I've really I've really felt that Constance, you know, because I have a, I, I'm blessed. I'm telling you, even yeah. during this time right now, I've been blessed. And I'm like, I don't even know. I'm like, why do I deserve all these blessings that come? Because you give. Yeah, you give. But it truly is. It truly is. I try to be it's that person to give without expecting anything in return. And you have to. That's how you have to yeah. lead, right? You have to lead. And if I have resources, yeah. I'm going to share them. I'm not in competition now with not one person ever. Nobody. Yeah. I yeah. just focus on me. Deshante says way. collaboration over competition. Yeah. All day. But not yeah. everybody is that way. Right? That's right. Well, I mean, they'll, they'll only get so far because they, they don't have the right mind for it. Right. If you are in competition with somebody else, you're looking at somebody else. You don't even see the roadblock that's coming your way and you're going to trip and fall over it and you might not get up. But if you are focused on what it is that God has given you to do, you ain't got time to be looking to the left. You ain't got time to be looking to the right unless you are helping somebody come along the way with you. Right. And that's the only way that you're going to get further. Mm -hmm. You know, African Proverbs that says if you go alone. If you go alone, you go, you go far. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Yes. And so the only way you can go further is if you can go and bring somebody with you. And that's so right. important. And that's what you do, girlfriend. And the great thing about it is you've had months in your business where you've made more than what you made a whole year in corporate America. <laughs> well, no, I, the whole year, I made a year before. No, this is what happened. This is what happened for in my business, actually. Okay. I'm, in 2017. I was still working 2018. Okay. This is very new. I'm, I'm an, I'm a new entrepreneur and business owner. So in 2018, I made 30, about 35, $38,000 in my business. Okay. But I had money still coming in from my job. So it was cool. But, and then in, in 2019, in March, I made more, I made $40,000 in March. In 2019. So I made more money in March of 2019 than I did all of 2018. That's crazy. Yeah. But and, and, but but that is such an encouragement because there are going to be this sometimes when you yeah. start your businesses off where you're not going to make as much money that you thought you were going to make or you're not going to make, you know, you're not going to start out becoming a millionaire. But, you know, you're going to get to those places where you might have a great month 
Yeah. And it, you know, it's feast or famine in entrepreneurship and that's it is. every facet of entrepreneurship because a business is a business is a business no matter what. Yeah. But the fact that you could have, you could, you could say I made this month, I made $40,000 this month and God, I made $35,000 in my business all last year. That is humongous. Like I want to start running around my office right now. <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't believe it at first, Constance, that I could even make that much money. And I and I really try to encourage people to say, you know, we're so limited in our beliefs uh, that we're supposed to collect a paycheck every two weeks and get a certain amount of money that somebody tells us we're worth, right? Mm. So they Let's talk about those limiting beliefs, though, <laughs> because how were you able to get past those limiting beliefs to, to say I am worth more than making, you know, fifty thousand dollars or one hundred thousand dollars a year? How did you set your mind frame, your mindset? I had, to, to I had to change my mindset and I had to work with coaches. Right. I had to work with coaches. And, and sometimes we have to borrow the confidence from our coaches, the confidence that our coaches give us. Right. To say, girl, you are badass. You're this where powerhouse came from. My coach saying yeah. you're a powerhouse, Chandra. Are you kidding me? Look at your resume. Why wouldn't anybody want to learn from you? Are you kidding girl. me? But to me, I, you know, you already know, Constance, you already know that that voice that's in our head. Like, you're not ready. You you are not all that. You you know, you're not smart enough. You don't got a, a, a bachelor's degree. Right. You don't got your got degree, a PhD. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, those limiting beliefs and self doubt and those that voice, that inner voice that gets to us. But I had to practice. I had to work with mindset coaches. I had to get people to help me believe and to show me. Like Chandra, review your resume. Just what I do with my clients is like, yeah. girl, you are an expert at this stuff. You can teach this. Um, yeah. So I had to be trained and developed. And I, and honestly, like like I said, that thirty eight thousand dollars, probably twenty thousand dollars of that went into coaching and and professional development. So let's talk about that because yeah. people just don't invest in themselves. They, they don't. don't. Mm -mm. They have they they want to make money, but they don't want to put money back into themselves. Why is that important? Girl, you you know, but I know it's because <laughs> you have to invest in high level. If you, want, if you want the results, if you want high level results, right? You mm -hmm. have to invest at a high level. If you and, and I want a high level results. I believed in my mission and in my vision so much that I didn't care if I put that twenty thousand dollars behind me because mm -hmm. I knew that I was gonna make it back and I knew Come I was on. gonna grow up. I Come knew on. I already had it. It was my vision. I was meant for this. Yes. <laughs> my yes. Vision. This is my yes. gift. So I knew I wasn't worried about it. That's why I yeah. tell you, you got to believe. You have to believe in your thing more than anybody else. Mm. Right. You can't just. And, that, you know, I encourage people, you, whatever thing that you're going after, make sure you're passionate and you love it. Mm. Right. Make sure you're passionate and love it. If you do, then put that money behind you. Put that money you normally would put elsewhere. Put that money behind you or your hottest commodity. Come on. And your hottest commodity should be. You, yes, yeah. you have money behind you. So I believed in it that much. And since 2000, you are a sure thing. Yeah. And if, if everybody believed that they were a sure thing, then they would have no problem in putting the money behind themselves. That's why it's important about coaching because you got to get to a point where you're, you know, you're the, you're the shit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. And be coachable. And be and coachable. coachable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you have to get that mindset development. And that's, that's huge in the Powerhouse Academy. It's like, Get your mind right first, because that mindset is the foundation to the house, the powerhouse we're building. Come that on. mindset. If you don't have a strong mindset, you are not yeah. the powerhouse that you want to be. You yeah, have to yeah. believe. You have to believe. So it, it was training. That's what got me to a point to where I can think like this now, where I don't care about competition. I don't care what any, about what anybody else is doing. I'm staying in Chandra's powerhouse lane and going to continue to go on my vision and not worry about I anybody else. This. Right. Okay. So let, let me be. I love this. You guys share this information. Is Chandra not dropping them bombs for your moms? Okay. <laughs> we can. Are you seeing the comments, Chandra? No, I can't see the comments. Oh my gosh. They they are giving. Oh, they yeah, are. Yeah. Okay. They're loving you. They're saying you're inspirational. They. I believe. Invest in yourself. The shiznit. Um. <laughs> Armand. Car oh. Armand. Cars on here. Okay, Shanta said, Shanta um, said in real life. Uh, Day, Zakia, they are absolutely loving you. James, Giselle, Tashante, Loriana. Um, they they on here and they are paying full attention to oh, everything wow. that you talk about, awesome. my friend. So awesome. Yeah, girl, you dropping you dropping them nuggets. So there, there, I was I was gonna ask you a question. 
um, I was going to ask you three things that young entrepreneurs should um, should do, but you said two of them. One thing you said, you've got to shift your mindset. And the second thing you said is they need to do coaching. They need to be coached. They need yeah. to, probably the third thing is they need to invest themselves, right? Right. Yeah, Anything yeah. to add to that? So well, mindset, coaching, and investment. Mindset, coaching, and investment. That That's the top three. And I think you agree with me, mm -hmm. right, Constance? I don't oh, know. yeah, absolutely. Every yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in investing in myself. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm 100 percent on that with you. I just if you want to play at a high level. Pudding. Proof, in, proof huh? in the pudding. Proof, proof in the pudding. Right. Right. Look at right. Oprah, right? I, and, and I shoot. I'll put Oprah in our category. Right, Constance? Yay! She's, she's I, 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 I you know, right? <laughs> really? You know, my friend Lisa Nichols, she said she when she was on Oprah and Oprah said, um, how many coaches? She said, you notice she didn't say, do you have a coach? She mm -hmm. said, how many coaches do you have? And uh, she said, I have I have two coaches. And so she said, I thought about that. And then at the next break, I said, well, how many coaches do you have? And she said, I think Oprah said, I have four coaches, something like that. And she said, well, you know what I did? I went out and got two more coaches. <laughs> if Oprah at that level has a coach, right. then what? In the world, why in the world do I not have a coach or coaches? And you have coaches for different things. And you and I were just talking about that the other day. You know, you have sales coaches, you have yeah. marketing coaches, you have branding coaches, you have yeah. media coaches, you have coaches, coaches. Whatever. mindset, coaches. What? mindset coaches. coaches, mindset Visible. coaches, right? Right. It's not and just one one person that does everything. Right. Because yeah, you can't. And I and this is what I advise people is not to have the same type of coach, like two business coaches or two yeah. visibility coaches or two financial coaches, right? Cause then you get conflicting information. Try to keep to one of each. Um, yeah. But you know, like I've normally had two, I haven't got Oprah status yet on four yet, but I have mentors, right? That I'm not paying, but I usually keep two on payroll. <laughs> that yeah. I'm um, right. Right. I keep a yeah. coach constant. I have to have a coach because I'm that person oh, too, yeah. that it, I gotta be pushed. I gotta be yeah. challenged. I gotta be like Chandra, where you at? Let's go next level, right? Because mm -hmm. if not, I could stay dormant. I could keep going. I've always been ambitious, but I've seen the results of having a coach and investing. I've seen the results of you having a coach, darling. Yeah. I've seen. I've I've sat on the front row and watched you elevate your game, and yeah. I, I didn't know it was because of coaches. I just seen. I'm starting seeing Chandra move more. I'm starting to see her do this. I'm starting to see. I'm like, okay, girl, look yeah. at you again. Either I'm commenting on her page or I'm DMing her and I'm like, girl, do the damn thing. I'm proud of you. I see you, boo, yeah. because I'm loving the moves that she's making. And I'm like, I, you know, you got to acknowledge people where they are because yeah. Deshante does the same thing. Deshante yeah. just even oh, in the I love her. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you you have, it is nothing wrong with you telling people, look, I see you. And and I and, and it, it pleases my heart and warms my heart when people come in my inbox and say, girl, thank you for being an inspiration. Right. You know, I see you, what you're doing. That is the best thing that you could do for me. Well, actually, the best thing you can do for me is pray for me. But a compliment doesn't hurt either. <laughs> or make a deposit in my bank account. One of those. <laughs> that, that is number three. <laughs> number three. Cash at me something. <laughs> right. So what are you working on right now? Oh, I'm so excited right now. It's just continuing the Powerhouse Academy. But my goal for Powerhouse is to really develop more women that are like me in their cities. So kind of like um, a um, franchise, a powerhouse cat. Come on. <laughs> And we, okay. you know, a franchise of powerhouse academy where I find influential women in their cities and teach them my strategy, right? Teach them how I was, I've been able, because what I've seen is that- Like I, a train the trainer? Yeah. Like, so I would, yeah, I would train other women that are influential leaders in their communities to teach them to develop a powerhouse academy, local one, because what has worked for me is really the local women. I'm able to connect them and open more doors because I have those connections. So they get gain more opportunity. So if you're a connector in your community and you're a leader in your community, I can, I can give you my, my whole structure of the powerhouse academy and it's licensed to you. Right. And, and develop it. So that's in the works. That's more vision right now of where I want it to go. Um, and then we also talk about incubator programs. We talked about that today. Um, talked about that offline, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So but I'm, I, so my mind is, is going on this um, this franchise opportunity or this powerhouse franchise opportunity, because I know that there are so many women, influential yeah. women in their cities that probably have those connections, but they don't know how to lead or, or, put a, a, yeah. or, or to leverage it. Yes. Wow. I think that's a fantastic idea that's a fantastic and i'm telling you listen chandra is not just talking she actually does this stuff i chandra is the event coordinator for the we summit okay the we <laughs> summit okay she's the event coordinator 
Now, yeah. Chandra did. She knows everybody in San Jose. She got us to space. Like, she is doing, you don't even know behind the scenes. I was going to acknowledge her at the We Summit. I'm still going to acknowledge her at the We Summit. She's actually going to be a speaker. She was going to be a speaker on the panel. Uh, but um, she is a true, true connector. If I need to hook up to the Jazz Festival, I'm, I'm hooking up. You know what I'm saying? San Jose Jazz Festival, the biggest jazz festival in the country. I'm calling Chandra. Chandra has the hookup. <laughs> so, so, so she's not just talking about this stuff. She actually is very, very well connected. And she is actually giving her, not giving, but she's helping other people to be able to leverage the same thing. So if you know somebody that's a connector, but they need to figure out how to leverage that and they want to build a business around leveraging that, have them hit up Chandra. If that sounds like you, have them hit up Chandra. Hit up Chandra. Patricia said, I need a coach. Mm -hmm. Um Denise said, I love that. Tana said, awesome. Tashante, we love you too, Tashante. Uh, Ade said he got him a real estate coach. Um, Ade said he's glad he got connected to the both of us. You know Ade? Huh? You, you got, do you know Ade? Um, I don't know. Well, well, he's connected to the both of us now. Okay, maybe he friended me. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Yeah. So Ade is putting on the um, the, the TED, the TED, TED Talk, the TEDx that I'm going to be speaking at in September in Texas. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, you were the first person I told because actually, to be honest, Chandra, again, you're light, hair, light years ahead of me. You inspired me. Yeah. When you did your TED Talk, I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> and then after that, it was just like, okay, I'm going to manifest that and I'm going to make that happen for myself. And but I knew it was going to happen. I knew you were going to do it. I was, it was just a matter of time. Somebody grabbing you up and snatching you up and say, oh, we should have had her on a TED Talk a long time ago. Girl, um, I appreciate you so sweet. Look, everybody's talking about they need a coach. I need I a coach. I need a few coaches. That question right he said, I'll be calling. Yeah. Sophia huh? had that question. Sophia yeah, had let's talk about it. What's the difference between a coach and a mentor? Because you did talk about that. <laughs> yes, I have mentors, right? I have mentors. Mentors, though, they're they're great to have, but they're you're not invested in them and they're not they they might be invested in you, but when you put a price tag or you put a dollar sign to that, you know, <laughs> they are invested financially in you, right? <laughs> and you are invested yeah. in them. So you're more than likely going to accomplish more in that way when you have a mentor you know they're busy they got life stuff going on they're getting paid by other people whatever their job is whatever they're doing right they're going to give you advice and they're going to sit down with you but a coach will give you strategy they have they like you're paying them right so you're paying them for a service so they're going to give you strategy they're going to sit down with you and work with you and say do x y and z a mentor is going to give you advice right and that's pretty much it so you a mentor know, is not invested in you. They'll help you, but they're not well, invested in you. They're not invested in you in that way. They might invest, want to be invested um, personally because they care about you. But a, a, a coach, you're invested in financially. And it's so important because, you know, you get what you pay for, right? You get what you pay for. So you're right. not going to mentor. I have mentors, but, you know, I have to turn him off sometime because he's all up in my ear all the time trying to tell me what to do. Um, so I know what to listen to him about, about that. <laughs> And I have my other coaches that I'm financially invested in and they're giving me strategy, like how to do this, Chandra. I'm going to show you hands on and I'm going to spend a certain amount of time with you every month. Right. And I'm going to have to be willing to put your money where your mouth is. Yes. Yes. You have to be willing to put your money and understand that we know that you don't have you may not. I'm not I'm saying that you don't, but you may not have money. You may not have a whole lot of money. But what you do have. You know, you, you need to put something aside to fund your dream. Put some money aside to fund your dream. And it might not be right now. It might be in three months, it might be six months, it might be 12 months. But if you can set some money aside to fund specifically your dream, then you do you will have the opportunity to invest in yourself and invest in a coach. Yeah. Right. You know, people invest in the wrong things sometimes when they want to start a business. Ooh. Right. They'll, they'll go and they pay they they thousands of dollars to a, a website. Like get their website built, uh, get all these branding colors, photos, and all this stuff, and they don't got a business. Photo shoot. A photo yeah. shoot or something, and they don't got a business yet. Like you, are you making any money yet? Make some money before you invest that, that type of money. That's what I always right. say. You need to make some money first. Okay. So people, so what would you tell them to do? So the, the first thing you would do is first. Okay. okay. Because okay. you need to okay. refine that idea, right? You need to right. refine that idea that you have. Right. <laughs> I didn't have blink. I was sorry. I couldn't help you. I couldn't help you. So funny. Uh, <laughs> but you got it. You got to invest in that idea and in, in that right. vision because sometimes you have visionaries like us 
we have 500 ideas, right? Plus. All at the same time. <laughs> right. So how do we refine one and start on one, right? Let's get right. this one right. And then you can add all this other stuff because the problem is that some people aren't successful because they want to do this and they want to do that all in the beginning. You understand concepts. You had to build up your real estate company first before you went to, um, to invest in cannabis, to start a, a co-working space and, and all the other ventures that you're a part of to start coaching, financial coaching and, and speaking. You had to build the, the real estate foundation. foundation first, right? And then you were able to branch off and afford to branch off. So right. you got to build one thing first, really solid, get that solid, refine right. that, that one thing, and then you can start doing everything. The problem is people seeing you doing all these things, they're like, I got to do this too. I got to invest in cannabis. I got to be a speaker. I got to have real estate, right? And they're not seeing the evolution. Of Girl. Where you Girl. <laughs> Dropping them bombs. That is so real. You start with one and you get good at that one thing and then you start branching off into other things. Now, I'm at a place right now where I could have 300 ideas and poor Charles and poor Glenda and poor India be running around like a chicken with their heads cut off trying yeah. to trying to realize my dreams, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> to a level where I can pay people pay to you. help me to do some of the things, some of the crazy and wild things that I want to do. And they'd be like, okay. And yeah. they'll try and, and, yeah. and we'll throw it the wall and see if it sticks. And it, sometimes it may and sometimes it may not. And that's okay. Yeah. But you have to make sure that you get good at that one thing first. I think that's one of the best advice that you can give to an entrepreneur is not try to be spread so wide, but get good at one thing first. Mm -hmm. Then you can start streaming off to other things. That's right. good. Yeah. Giselle said, yo, don't slow down the personal branding photo session appointments, yo. <laughs> <laughs> we're not Giselle. We're not. We're just telling people don't do that first before you do have your idea, right? Demetrius, Demetrius, I believe in my best. Demetrius, I believe that I am my best investment because if I don't get a return, it's on me. Yeah. James Moore said, "Good stuff." Is it better to get a coach that understands your business? Um, I, you have to do interview your coach. Like, don't just jump on any coach, right? You got to align and you got to be attracted to them. So I know that every coach that I've had that I've chose, I've I've felt that like online, like I I resonated with their message, right? I connected with their message, so I would listen to them, and I and I also see what they've done. Yeah, oh, they become a millionaire. Okay, yeah, I want her to coach me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did she sell five hundred thousand dollars this year in her services? Yeah, I want her to coach me. She knows how to right. do it. Like, and she has proof that she did it. Right. right. I want to see it. I want, you know, I want to make sure I pick coaches based on are they doing the things that I want to do? OK. Right. Yeah. I want them. And then I talk with them and make sure that we're connected in that way. And they believe it has to be a connection too that you feel like you can really vibe with them on a certain level, too. Right. I won't I won't let anybody join Powerhouse Academy unless I believe in their mission. I love it. I won't because I got to believe in order to coach you. I got to believe in what you're doing. Like, if, yeah. you're, if, you, if you're trying to sell cigarettes and and <laughs> I don't know, whatever, if you're to sell crazy <laughs> stuff, I, yeah. I ain't trying. I ain't trying to coach you. Right. And so my values, our values have to align in that way. So make sure your values align. Make sure you have a connection with them and make sure they have experience in what you're trying to do. Yeah. Right. You know, Susie, Susie Carter said that I was interviewing Susie Carter and she said that somebody told her. You know, why don't you join my, my mastermind group? And she said, OK, cool. How much money have you made? And I guess they were like two hundred fifty thousand dollars at twenty five people. She was like, no, you need to join my mastermind group. <laughs> right. I <heard> that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was that amount, but it, whatever it was, it was like nowhere near her level. And so when you're looking for people who are doing what it is that you want to do or that you're looking to coach, they need to be, the proof needs to be in the pudding. You need to be able to see the results. And if you're going to invest with them, they need to be able to show you tangibly. These are the things that I've done and I've been able to accomplish. This is what I got. Right. And you need to be able to see the proof. They need to be able to show you the proof. Right. Show you that bank account. Show you something. Show you some sales. So hey. you show you something. Because there's a lot of people out there just talking and telling you what you can do. And they have never done it in their lives. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've heard people say that. Show them your bank oh, account. I, 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 in, uh, in, I in the, in the circle that I go, I see it a lot. You said what? I said, I, I don't know. That'd be weird if somebody asked me that. 
but I'm not scared of that either. I'm not scared of yeah. it, but I've, I've never done it and I've never had to do it. But yeah. maybe we're giving people some ideas here. But, <laughs> but I but, mean, really, I mean, you 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 really want to see. I mean, at, at the end of the day, you want to see results. And this right? is why you want to. Yeah, this is why I show a lot of my client success stories, and you can see all through my feed all the time, my testimonials and my videos of all my clients. You Google me, and you'll see everything that I've done. You said Google me, baby. Go ahead. All right. And I, you know, I tell people that because you know it's proof. It's social proof, like we talked about earlier. Right. Social proof. When you're going to look somebody up or when you are interested in working with somebody, I Google them right away. I'm going to Google them. Like, what, what is your social presence? What have you done? Because if you're an expert in this thing that you're saying you are, then you'll have videos. You'll have a, a social media page, maybe a website or something. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be talking about it all over your Facebook page. If this is if you're about that life. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. I, life, then I, I'm going to see you talking about this. But if you are not. And I don't see that on your social, on your personal page, talking about this stuff. I don't see any videos. I don't see a website. I don't see nothing. Then you ain't there yet. Okay. Maybe you need to get there and I need to help you do that, but you ain't there yet. <laughs> Maybe you should join my cohort. My exactly. cohort. <laughs> Next cohort of Powerhouse Academy. I'll help you out. It's so funny because my friend Les Brown say that real low. Um, he, he, uh, he, me and my girls were working with him, but he wanted to introduce us to a marketing person. And so, of course, first thing we do is Google her. We're like, where is she? <laughs> we don't see. I, we, we love you. I don't see nothing on her nowhere. So they were like, no, 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 hell no. We're not working with her because if she's in marketing, we need to see her marketing. You know? Right. So right. Um, exactly. yeah, you do have to have that social because the first thing I'm going to do in whatever business. And here's the thing, James, too, to go back to your question. Business is business is business is business. So I don't necessarily have to be in your industry to coach you. Donna does not necessarily have to be in your business to coach you. Right, business right. is business. So she's going to give right. you the fundamental of business, which is transferable to any business. Yeah. That's what you need to understand. Mm -hmm. And so if go ahead, if, you, if somebody's going to coach you, then they need to just have an understanding, not a basic understanding, but a great understanding of what business is and how to be successful at it. Yeah. And proof that they've been able to do it too. Right. Several women in my, they're all different businesses, right? I've had bakers. I have chefs. I have caterers. I have women that are starting coaching businesses, health businesses, brick and mortar businesses. It's really about the mindset and the strategy behind it, right? Strategy yeah. and, marketing and and to make yourself visible and all that stuff that's offered in the Powerhouse Academy. But, you know, you have to, um, so you don't necessarily have to have a coach that's in your specific industry, right? Sure. All the time, right? So right. That, that's the answer for him on that question. Yeah. Um, is it, do we have any other questions? Yeah, no, I'm just I'm looking at the comments. They're like foundation, nuggets, values, aligned connections. Are they doing what you want to do is what Felicia said. Brandy said she's giving these gems. Felicia's like, make it play. <laughs> Nia said, yes, Google them. I they said the experience you gain on a multi-million dollar project is much different than a hundred thousand dollar project. <laughs> yes, <it laughs> what is. about a five-figure project? <laughs> what about a two-figure project? Like you are not getting and I always use this analogy, but it's so true. So your 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 value has to be aligned with whatever the product is service that you're selling. Yeah. So if I'm selling chicken and that chicken, I'm selling chicken that's $30 for a two piece meal, you are not going to buy that, right? Mm -hmm. On the same token, you're not going to buy the that two piece meal for 99 cents because then you're going to be like, oh, something's wrong with it. Right. So you have to properly price mm -hmm. and properly, properly value the, the service that you're providing. Yeah. And, that, and, and a lot of people do it wrong. Yeah. And that's another thing that you might need a coach for because you <laughs> might think, hey, listen, my mortgage is this, these is my bills. I need to be pricing right here. Let me tell you. Can I talk about that for a second? Let me, let me tell you what I was trying to price Powerhouse Academy at. And, and my coach was like, Chandra, no, you are not. Stop it. And But that's when I, I wasn't making any money. And nobody was signing up when I had it at the cheapest price. Hmm. And now that it's you know at a higher level price, I sell it that more part. because of that the part. Volume. And also, I have proof that it works. Right. Yeah. So I, I don't care. I'm not wishy washy anymore. This is the price. You pay it or you don't. Or you, you, you know my customer. You don't. So yeah, but, but the value is there. I'm showing you the value, right? I, and you see the value, the, the amount of money I put into my branding, into my marketing, into the time I put with, with my clients. I go above and beyond with them. And my main purpose is not to make money. My main purpose is to make a difference and to transform them, is to get results. I want results. I don't care about everything else. I want you to come out of Powerhouse Academy ready to go, total new mindset and ready to conquer the world. That's that's my main goal. Mm, 
Right. So Felicia said, what if you have many gifts and trying to move in all of them? Well, that's why you need a coach. <laughs> you know, you got you got to have a coach to say, okay, you're good at this, you're good at this, you're good at this, but you you're great at this. You're living in your zone of greatness, right? In all of these things, but you need to live in your zone of genius. Mm. In your zone of genius is different than your zone of greatness. Constance, you are in your zone of greatness in corporate. I was yeah. in my zone of greatness in the community, right? Yeah. Moving, moving like a leader. Because that, that, that's who we are. Make the money. We could attract the money. We could do what we could attract we do. the money. Yeah. Good salary, right? Mm -hmm. But that was our zone of greatness. But our zone mm -hmm. of genius is entrepreneurship. Come on. Was building it's our a whole difference. It's a whole difference. You, you need somebody. You need somebody to help you figure that out. Yeah. That's, so right totally that's my gift. My gift is yeah. to see what your zone of genius is and say we need to go that route. Because that's how you're going to make money, and that's how you're going to make change people's lives in that way. Yeah, come on, zone of greatness, zone of genius. Yes, that'll be my next uh, name of my next book. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can be a co-author on that. Alicia said, mm, "That's good. That's good." Uh, they said, "Figure out which gift will make room for the other ones." Um, Denise said, "Purpose equals profit." Yeah. Miriam said, "Sean." makes it happen she transformed my life i love the testimonials on testimonials yes, yes, uh, Carmia said it makes perfect okay. sense we just finished powerhouse academy and she's kicking butt already see oh. and when and when the proof is in the pudding when you see when you can see and that and that's a, again that's what you do for me chandra is i sat on the front row and i've seen you transform your life and i've seen the proof in you transforming other lives mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the proof is in the pudding the yeah because you develop a business right and you're showing proof you know, then then I, I don't have to sell too hard. That's right. My testimonials and my proof is selling for me. My clients sell for me. Right. right. And then they reap the benefits. Right. If, if they sell, they're on affiliate like they're getting the cut. Like because I, you know, I want to I want to bless everybody. If oh. you turn somebody to me and you because you went to them and said, Chandra changed my life. You need to join Powerhouse Academy. I, I want to get I want to bless everybody. We should all be blessed. Right. We're gonna so, talk about how they could join. We're gonna talk about how they could join Powerhouse Academy because I know people are like on here, I need a coach, I need a coach, I want to do it, I want to do it, I want to do it. So yeah. I want to definitely give everybody the opportunity to to get in that because to 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 be a part of the, to be a part of the Powerhouse Academy. And yeah. it's only for people who are interested in being powerhouses, yes. only for people who are interested in transforming their lives. Mm -hmm. It's only for people who want to make a difference. It's only people who want to see something totally a different person. Yeah, a totally different person than they were yesterday. But, but and now, it's for women. It's for well, actually, I had my first man come out of right. I had I had my first man the last cohort before this lot of the. Cohort. I see that. How'd that go? It was wonderful. It was wonderful. But he was more of a lady than everybody else. So he, but he didn't care. And he, you know, but he he's been he's been on fire himself, and he loved yeah. it. You know, he loved. But he wasn't scared to reach out to me and say, Chandra, is Powerhouse Academy only for women? Right, wow. and I. I had to go through the uh, application process with them and a conversation and I let them yeah. in, right? Wow. It's not open to just anybody. I have to have a conversation with you before we move forward. And I decided to let him in. Um, and it, it was for good reason, but he was great. I can't stand Giselle. Giselle, you better not have bought my URL. <laughs> oh, my Giselle said, I will sell your URL for you to put back to you. <laughs> I'm going to beat you. You better not have bought my URL. <laughs> <laughs> so I was talking to Trevor Oss yesterday and I said, what's the first thing you do when you get an idea? Same thing I do. First thing I do when I get yeah. an idea, I buy the URL. That's the first thing. And girl, I need to get advice. Thanks for advice. Flip, flip and manages my URLs, right? And so she and I've had some wow, you don't even want to yeah. know I do. the names of some of the businesses that I've had. But she'll call Oh, daddy, for some reason or other. And they'd be like, oh, I see such and such is getting ready to expire. She says, I'd be so embarrassed, Constance. Don't worry about it. That was a great idea at the time. <laughs> we don't go ahead and let it expire. It'd be some way off out. You know, it'd be in the middle of the night. I could imagine. Oh, I could imagine with your mind what kind it's, of stuff. It could be genius. <laughs> <all the time. laughs> And I go by the domain and then I look back, you know, I wake up in the morning like, what the hell was oh, I thinking? Right. <laughs> it's only 11 I mean. Right, 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 right. You got to sell those off constantly. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What do you think the Powerhouse Academy is going to look like, say, five years from now? What, what do you want to be? 
it's already a movement. It's only been a year and a half. It's only it's already a movement. So I oh, that's inspiring. Yeah. It, you know what? I didn't I did not expect this concept. I was talking to a client yesterday. I didn't expect it to be where it's at today. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect for for the women that they're they're like ambassadors for it. Right. And and they're really changing lives like we're changing hundreds of people's lives through through the coaching and through the program. But it's developed into a sisterhood and a community that I mm -hmm. didn't plan. Honestly, I did not plan on it. But I think it's happened organically because that's the vision I had for all these other things I was trying to do in the community and I was trying to develop. Right. Yeah. And it manifested into that. It manifested into that. So I see it as, like I told you, a, a kind of a building, kind of like a brand, uh, not, what did I say? Like a franchising it out, licensing out and developing other co other groups in other cities. Mm -hmm. um, so then I can focus on what I'm doing and, 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 and speaking and doing other things, right? Expanding where I'm not hands on on Powerhouse anymore, but it's growing into its own thing. That's where that's she where don't want to be. The, she don't want to be the, the drug dealer on the corner. She want to be, you know, brown. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So the mastermind behind it. Right. The mastermind <laughs> behind it and it growing into just developing into its own thing. And, and, and that and then also working with um, building, really building it to be a um, incubator with other companies. So partnerships, bringing bringing what I have and, and partnering with other people to um, grow it. I see you getting into corporate space too, and um, you know, um, being a consultant in that space for a lot mm -hmm. of employees. Mm -hmm. um, I see you. I see the powerhouse going in so many different directions, um, not just because of your connections, but because of who you are. You know, the thing about it again, leading with your heart because you lead with your heart, and um, a an organization can only be as good as the leader. Yes, ma'am. And everything has to trickle down from the top to everywhere else. And so mm -hmm. if you are a good leader and you are leading from the heart and you're doing it, people are going to grab onto that. Yeah. And then and then you put that ingredient along with coaching, investing, and your mindset, there is nothing that you can't do. Absolutely not. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely nothing. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. I truly agree with that. You have to really put all those things together. <laughs> really. you know what Giselle said? You know what Giselle said? <laughs> Giselle said, is an amazing coach and excellent airport shuttle driver for classmates. <laughs> she, yeah, she went to the conference, uh, Shamika's conference out in uh, Palm Springs. And oh, okay. She okay. to ride the airport. Uh, they said, Powerhouse Global. I love it. A well oh. oiled machine. Ooh, uh, they, uh, they said, Partner here. Powerhouse Global. I see it. Yeah. I see it in big lights. I see that. I, I see I, that. I in big put Global next to Powerhouse. So I love it. Thank See? you. See? Yeah, we'll connect all day. We'll connect for sure. Because oh, that, that's exactly where I want to bring it. And and actually tomorrow I'm launching a, a whole marketing campaign. Um, so you probably see me on these internet streets. Uh, He's always up to something. A lot, a little bit more than usual. Um, and reaching reaching more people. I I want to expand. I feel like I'm local, and not there's nothing wrong with that, but really to really affect more people we need to expand and so we're, we have a marketing campaign going out tomorrow that's i love it more people you know you got to really be like uh you got to be like apple and apple is like you know apple has like five iterations out mm -hmm. already you mm -hmm. know so you know we got we on 11 they got 16 out already done and they just going through 11 12 you know what i mean so yeah. we always that's how we have to look at our businesses and even though we don't have um we haven't put the, the things that we're doing that we're getting ready to do out to the public we still need to be working on things in the future yeah and exactly and not be looking back but be looking always looking to the future that's yeah because i'm running you know, we're running things right now i'm running powerhouse academy and my cohorts right now but i got a lot of stuff going on in the background Right. We got a lot of things that we're building that nobody knows that we're building. We, we got to keep as an entrepreneur, we got to keep sticking with what's going on now. Right. So we have to figure out how are we going to pivot and how right. or, or take advantage of this opportunity? Because honestly, right now, if you're not taking advantage of this opportunity and you really want to be an entrepreneur, then you're failing right now. Because honestly, things, th uh, some of the biggest and most successful companies have come out of these hard times. Mm. Right. They've seen a problem. They seen a mm -hmm. problem. There's a lot of companies that are that are making money right now, that that are making money right now. New companies that came out of nowhere because there was a need, and they seen the need, right? They yeah. seen the need. I seen the need. You seen the need. This is why we started businesses. We're feeling a need. We're feeling a gap. That's right. And right? if they 
Charles and I were just talking before we got online and we said, if people don't take this opportunity to come out with something, they never, ever, ever will. Because right now, the playing field has never been more level, right? Mm -hmm. Because everybody's su suffering right now. Everybody's lives have changed. We will see a new normal. And if we don't do something different, if we don't come out of this with some kind of plan, then you failed. You yeah. have failed. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I keep seeing people saying, be easy on people, be easy. Okay. I'm, whatever. Don't listen to me. <laughs> don't follow me. Don't listen to me. If, if I am triggering you, then block me right now because I want people to be successful. I yeah. want to, and I'm not pressuring. If, if you are not ambitious, then you just ain't ambitious, right? right. You ain't, I, I'm not going to force it. But if you are ambitious, I am going to push you, right? Yeah. And I, I am going to make you feel a little guilty because oh, you talk about it, but are you being about it? Mm, you talk about it, but are you walking about it? Come on. You're not doing it. So I don't want to hear you. I don't want you part of Powerhouse Academy. I don't want you in my circle. Nothing. Because all we do is make moves. <laughs> That's all we do. All we do is win. All we do is win. That's it. <laughs> I love it. So I'm going to ask you, uh, Brady said, thank you, Chandra Brooks. Keep it real. Keep it 100. Um, Maya said, boom. <laughs> but we talk about doing business in the new normal, you know, because this is the new normal for a lot of us right now. What should some people be doing? I wrote a book, an ebook called Seven Online Revenue Streams to Fund Your Million Dollar Dreams, because I want to give people an idea to do something different right now. You know, if it's not the seven, the eight ideas, I give you eight ideas, eight ideas that I've given you. But what has God placed on the inside of you that you could be doing right now? Yeah. Google University is available. Right. You don't have to be in class classrooms. What should people be doing right now online as the new normal? I think they, they need to be Google University. If you want to learn something, go online and learn it. Right. right. Develop your plan. But if you already have an idea, right, or that you have something that you want to share with the world or some education, or you want to teach, right, or you want to start a certain type of business, you should be talking about it online. You should be promoting it online. You should be saying, hey, I got I, I got this idea. This is what I'm developing. You know, you should be m moving online in that way and connecting with groups, Facebook groups or different um, platforms that are focused on that, whatever that thing that you're involved in. I right. would get around those type of people that are doing whatever you're interested in doing. You, you've got to take advantage of the online platforms that are out there. Google, um, um, but Facebook, LinkedIn, they have groups for everything that you're interested in doing, right? There's something yeah. for everybody out there. Yeah. yeah. I, Ade said, I keep doors around me. And I love that he said that um, Ade, I, I connected with him. So, you know, we're doing the other project together, but I connected with him on a totally different project um, that we're working on for the co-op spot. But one of the things he says is, oh, God, Constance, you resonated with me because you said you're an executor because I am. I'm not an ideation yeah. person. I'm an executor. He is. He said, I call myself an architect in technology. Yeah. I'm, a tech, I'm a technology architect. The, 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 my point is, you don't have to strengthen your weaknesses. Right. You right. I don't you should not uh -huh. wait your time or spend your time. Yes. strengthening your weaknesses. You need yes. to operate in your greatness or in your genius. Don't and you need to be around people. Yeah. Who have this, who are strong in areas that you are weak. Exactly. Yes. And I think that's what people take their time in doing right now as well is just looking for those people. And and I, I think, you know, you, you may not have them in your, in your immediate circle, but I think you can be intentional. If you set that intention about this is who I want to grab, this is what I need in my life, God. And you set those intentions, you'll start to see those people coming in your life. Right. Start to people spend a lot of time on busy work, right? On, on mm. saying, I'm going to try to learn this and I'm going to try to learn that. Well, you don't, you don't need to be wasting your time learning how to develop an Excel spreadsheet. Hire somebody to do that. Okay. Right. Hire right. somebody. I'm trying to create a logo on Canva. I'm trying to write my business plan. You can hire somebody to do all of that stuff. And if you really want it that bad, you'll make it happen. Um, because I didn't have a whole lot of money when I started. I didn't have like a big nest egg to invest. You know, right. I, honestly, I went to my husband and said, OK, you know, but can we pull some money out of the house? Can we do this? And he was looking at me crazy because, yeah, my husband, you, <laughs> you know, he's looking at me crazy because my husband's a worker. He's worked for almost th actually 30 years for AT&T. That's what he knows. Right. That's what he's used to. And that's his thing. And that's OK. Thank God for him that right. he's that that's what that's his thing. But, you know, he's married to a visionary. 
right? And I was like, look, you know, but he at first he didn't he didn't believe. He believes now, right? He believes. Not the, oh, he does. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> a lot of people didn't believe that Jesus him. died, but then when they saw the the, the, net, the, the holes in the hands, that's when they became believers. So right. I have to see the proof. I had, a, I had I had to prove I had to prove it, and that's fine because to any investor you got to prove yourself. So yeah. I was fine, you know. He we invested a he invested a little bit and was kind of like, okay, we'll put this much, but I had to show him what I could do with that much. That's right. Right. That's I had right. to show. I made sacrifices. I'm telling you, I pulled. I stole Peter to pay Paul. I figured it out, right? Yeah. To invest in myself and to get things done, you know, to pay for little things, to pay for Fiverr. Remember we're talking about Fiverr, get somebody on Fiverr to do your logo. You get somebody to create a spreadsheet for you, a website, everything you need on Fiverr, develop your Facebook page to make it look right. professional. You can find somebody on there to do that. So right. I, I remember a girl was in my inbox and she said, you know, I want to start a business. I'm just waiting for God to send me somebody to write my business plan. And I was like, you're waiting for somebody to, to come and say, I'm going to write your business plan for you. No, you go find somebody. <laughs> There's too much information out there. <laughs> yeah. No, so, you know, because I don't want to hear that. I don't, I hear yeah. you. you're a believer. You have faith, but you, but along with that faith, you got to have action. That's right. That's right. right. Faith that works is what is dead. Yes. It doesn't work. You got to have that. that. Is that is the absolute truth. Um, Ade said, and when you don't have money, trade services. Hmm. That's your that's your absolutely right. You know, the thing about it, I, I do a lot of things very well. I'm not as great as experts. But I think yeah. you know, I can do some marketing pretty good. You know, I can do a spreadsheet. Pretty, like I can do some things. And one of my problems was I would ask somebody to do something. If they didn't do it quick enough, I just did it myself. Right. Yeah. But I make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So why am I spending my time? To set, so say, for example, I make a thousand dollars an hour. Right. Why am I going to spend a thousand dollars an hour when I could hire somebody that makes maybe $20 or $10 an hour or go to Fiverr and get it done for $40. Mm -hmm. Why am I spending my time? And people don't look at it like that. They just yeah. think I can do it well and I'll just go ahead and take care of it. When they could, they could be focusing their time and efforts on something else. Yeah. Give that to yeah. somebody else who can, who, who's, who's an expert at it and you can do pretty good and you ain't got to pay them a whole lot. Yep. Exactly. Uh, uh, Producer, I love these talks. I can relate to all the speakers. I am screaming. My husband think I'm crazy. <laughs> Brandy said, the testimony, girl, your testimony is everything. Yeah. Uh, Maya said, boom, again. Um, Giselle said, I'm a barter queen. <laughs> Maya said, don't play yourself, Miss Constance. You're a genius. Oh, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm not a, I'm not the, the, the sharpest tool to shelf. I always tell you that I am not the big idea person. Like, so I got to be around Chandra. I need yeah. people like Chandra. Mm -hmm. I need people like Charles. I need mm -hmm. people like Glenda. They're the ones. They're the ones that I'm saying, okay, let's execute. I'm yeah. gonna, I can execute my ass off. But right. as far as me coming right. up with these big ideas, yeah, you got it. You like you live in your zone of zone of genius, right? And I've yeah. learned, I've learned that, thank God. So I have people that help me do all everything because what I'm good at is coaching. My, what I'm good at is this right here with one on one with somebody and giving you that strategy and making you believe. You know, I know what I'm good at and that's what I'm gonna focus on. So I have my team members that do everything else, my marketing, my my uh my back end stuff right i have assistants that help me with everything online because i don't have patience i don't know how to design anything i'm not going to create a spreadsheet i'm not going to set up appointments i'm not going to do that because i really want to spend utilize my time serving yeah not in my genius so i want everybody to think about that thing that, that you're good at and so maybe you could barter services maybe you don't have the money maybe you can barter with somebody else maybe you can put in the comments box the thing that you're good at and the thing that you need help with right mm -hmm. because that's you know right now we can't go to conferences and workshops and, and and network outside but this is a perfect opportunity this is a perfect platform to say hey here's what i'm good at but yeah. here's what i need help with yeah. and if we could do that right here you never know we can mm -hmm. come out of this thing with a whole new million dollar business. And that's the whole thing is from incubation to manifestation. I want to, I want people to walk away knowing that I can do anything that I want to do, that mm -hmm. I can be a millionaire, mm -hmm. that I can be, you know, a hundred thousand, whatever it is yeah. that you want to do, that you can absolutely do it. Take this time right now. George Frazier said, read, read some books, mm -hmm. read some books, get educated. You have to I read an article the other day. Though, right. Constance, I mean, yeah. you, you know, we can go to events all day long, right? And go get inspired and go get pumped up and be like, oh yeah, I'm about to leave out of here. I'm about to start that business. And then a week later, er, 
you know, like they're on a high for a minute. It's like going to church. Oh. It's like going to church on Sunday. Like you come to Sunday yeah. and in and, and saying and everything else. And Monday you curse cursing out your kids. You might be cursing out your kids before you get to the parking lot. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of the same concept. Right. You need that yeah. ongoing you gotta thing. You got to continue that investment, right? Get a coach. Honestly, yes. I, I, we, we, we both know the the value in coaching because it. I mean, it's changed our lives. It's changed right. our life. It takes you to, to a whole nother level. It takes you to a whole nother level than you trying to figure it out yourself and more than what one event can do. So you got to do the events that inspire, you get information and you make those connections. Those That's all value there, but you have to stay consistent. Don't come okay. and do hype that you're going to start this business and you don't go do the actions behind it. You, you got to do the actions behind it. You know how, how many people came to the conference last year and didn't put the actions behind it. Right. They're just talking about it. Oh, this year. But this year I'm going to do it. I'm going to finally do it this year. You got to get this. We don't get nowhere alone. People. No, 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 we don't get nowhere alone. You have to be able to take make that risk. You can't nickel and dime your dreams. If you nickel and dime your dreams, you're going to get nickel and dime results. You're right about that. (laughs) You you never lie. You have never lied. You have never lied. Damn. Okay, I'm ready to get coached. I'm ready to sign up. Who is ready to sign up? Coaching mentoring is one of the things anyone can do. Keep coaching, ladies. Um, thank you, Valon. Um, I they said both of you are world changers. Most, and then he said most times I recognize world changers. Well, I, I received yeah. that. You received that. I received. Yeah. I received. I received it. Thank you, so, you guys. Um, I want. I want to give you an opportunity, Chandra, because mm-hmm. you have been absolutely inspiring. You've inspired me today. Um, you've inspired a whole lot of people on here. I want them to give an opportunity to work with you. If, if how can they work with you? Well, my next cohort starts May fourth, um, so yeah. a couple weeks. Give and them a little time to say them coins, huh? Give them a little time to say them coins. Yeah, figure it out, right? Do do what you got to do. Um, but people are joining Powerhouse Academy. The the people that really want it, right? People people find a way. If they really want something, they find a way, or they find an excuse. There's always a reason not to do something. So um, yeah, the next cohort starts May fourth, and um, how do they get in contact with you? How do where are they find Facebook? About? Send me a message, friend me. Um, go to the wearepowerhousewomen.com. dot com. Okay. We are, we are Powerhouse Women. You'll see the program. You'll see all the testimonials. You'll see all the women that have gone through it. You see their success stories about the program, the breakdown, everything. And if you have any more questions, just send me a message. I love it. So before we go, you guys, if you guys have a question for Chandra, I'm going to ask one more te- question. But if you have a question for Chandra, post it in the comments box. Um, I wanted to, I, I, I wanted to, I know you, 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 you've organized so many things. You've organized the, the Women's March mm-hmm. in San Jose, Silicon Valley. You're just involved in a lot of civic things. Yeah. Why, what, why, why did you choose to give back? What, what was the purpose of that for you? Well, it was started because I was a teen mom, right? So I started working in teen pregnancy prevention. Um, so in nonprofits, I, I started in nonprofit work and I was I started to learn that the back end of nonprofits and how to write grants. I taught myself how to write federal and state grants and I was getting multi-million dollar grants uh, for teen pregnancy prevention programs. And then I seen the connection to politics and why it was important, the, the connection between politics and the community um, organizations. And I felt community organizations were like a Band-Aid, right? We can continue to put the Band-Aid on it, but we needed policy and laws to change in order to fix these issues that our communities and different communities were having. Um, so I w- that's how I got involved in politics because I seen that gap, right? So then mm-hmm. I started helping um, different um, um, politicians and campaigns and working on their campaigns, getting to understand that if I was connected to these people, I can get things done faster and I can leverage those relationships to help other people. So then when somebody called me and said, Shonda, we're having a problem in this neighborhood, or we had some discrimination over at the school, I had direct contact with people that can go in and handle that ASAP. So that's why it's really important to have those connections where you can make a phone call to the mayor or to the city council or to decision makers to make things happen. I seen that early on and that's kind of how I got involved. And I seen the difference one person can make. I was, Mm -hmm. let me just tell one story because I think it's impactful for people to get involved in their communities and really get engaged. I was a commissioner on the commission on status of women and girls. We had, we were overseeing the jails, um, the jail, uh, what's that jail in Malpitas? Um, what's it called? Uh, Huh? Elmwood. Elmwood. Yeah. So we overseen the women's, 
part of the Elmwood jail and we were doing a tour and we're walking on the tour and the, and the sheriff that was giving us the tour, he says, um, Oh, so here are the trade programs for the guys, for the men. And there was, um, what, there was a post, a uh, upholstery, there was, um, uh, automotive, there was like six different trades for the men. So we go over to the women's side and I was like, well, where are the trade programs for the women? And they said, oh, we don't have an area for that. We do have um, embroidery for the women. <laughs> That's Embro good. Embroidery? I, you should see my face. Just like I was like, embroidery? Who embroiders right now? Who is going to get a job out of prison and go, go apply for an embroidery job? And I was like, That's just ridiculous. And then another one said, Oh, and I think it's been broken for a year the machine. And I was nope. like, Okay, so obviously you don't value the women that are here, you value the men. Okay, we got to fix this, right? So as a voice, as one person able to bring attention to that thing and get it fixed, right? So now they're building a whole new facility that has vocational programs for women. But wow. it took a person's voice to say, oh, hell no, yeah. right? Other people had to see that. Other people had to see it and they didn't say anything. They were just like, oh, okay. You know, don't be that person. Speak up. If you have authority, say something like i'm not sitting to be a commissioner just to sit there and say i got a commissioner title right so really taking action they also didn't have a library they had a huge library for the men they had ged teacher they had a librarian the women their library was a storage area so we got uh, as commissioners we came together and cleaned out the whole library brought them new books because they had 70s and 80s books in there it was wow. it was horrible it's like look prisons we know weren't created for women that's right. a whole other story. But it, it takes people with a voice to speak up and say something about it. Right. And that that showed me how one person can make a difference. And this that's why I, I really advocate for people to really sit on commissions and boards because you really have a voice to make a difference. You know, there's a saying that if you if you don't have a seat at the table then you risk being on the menu, you're on the menu. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, Angela Porche said, thanks for the information. Carmia said, how much is the Academy? You want to share that here? I can. It's $4,997. Okay. Is it, can they break it up in payments? Yeah, I have payment plans. Mm -hmm. Hit her up. Uh, Patricia said, I love it. Connections. Patricia said, amazing. Uh, Sophia said, yes, some people don't realize how powerful their voice is. Just one voice can make a difference. The ripple effect. Yes. You're absolutely right. And, you know, God bless you, Chandra. God bless you for being a game changer. God bless you for being a game changer in my life. Yeah. God bless you for all of the people that you've helped, not just in your cohort, but in general. God bless yeah. you for the people that you've helped in the prisons and in the community. God bless you. Yeah. And I hope I continue to bless your business. So um, there's nothing else that I want from you today. You have been absolutely amazing. You've been dropping them bombs for everybody's moms and their grandmoms. And I wanted to bring it for you. I wanted to bring it. Yeah. And you always do. That's yeah. what you do. Boo. So yeah. thank you. You guys check thank out you. Chandra um, Powerhouse Academy. If you're we not powerhousewomen.com. Powerhouse what? We are powerhousewomen.com. We are powerhousewomen.com. Yes. All right, y'all. Peace. Bye. That was awesome.